Welcome to this video on Bio-Inspired Engineering. In case you have missed out, this video is very relevant to our previous video on engineering of Iron Man suit. The link to that video is present in the description box. On this channel Synergy Files, we aim to inspire budding engineers for a better, more sustainable world. Mankind has always looked towards nature for inspiration. It was the sight of birds soaring across the skies that fueled our desire to fly. Similarly, observation of the creatures treading across waters helped man envision the conquest of the vast seas. It was an activity that took him to new horizons and paved way for exploration. It also opened up the world trade. As transportation modes developed, they multiplied the exchange of ideas and propelled civilization forward. In the post-Renaissance period, obsession with mechanical equipment including engines, cranks, gears and hydraulics was followed by the use of electricity, motors and push-button controls. A perverse lust for fossil fuels pushed humans into a highly mechanized world that seemed at odds with nature. However, in the modern era, a new pattern of thinking has emerged one that aims to learn from nature and respect it rather than seeks to subdue it. This new approach coupled with advanced technology is most visible in the field of bio-inspired engineering. So let's examine some of the most recent developments in the field. Lately, scientists have been working on robots that utilize quadruped movements for traversing unpaved territories. Unlike the wheel that requires a track, the legs on an animal can overcome many obstacles and even climb up the steepest of slopes. For example, quadruped robots have been designed by a company called Boston Dynamics. Although the military application for these robots cannot be ruled out, but they can be also extremely useful for search and rescue operations in a debris filled environment. Similarly, Automated flying machines that fly just like birds are being explored. The world was introduced to Festo Smart Bird in 2011. Even jellyfish propulsion mechanism for both an aircraft and an underwater vessel is being researched. This search towards bio-robotics owes a lot to both improvements in the battery and the material technology. Even modern wave energy generators like Palamis utilize sea snake-like movements for capturing energy. Almost a decade ago, in 2007, a company called InSpace came up with dolphin-shaped semi-submersible vessel called the Sea Breacher. The Sea Breacher can imitate dolphin-like movements including diving and leaping out of water. This semi-submersible personal watercraft is commercially available and can be purchased for lesser price than a supercar. Moving on from sea to air, we know that mankind has to an extent mastered flight dynamics. We can fly higher than any bird and we can also travel faster than any animal. But if we observe nature, we still find that we have not achieved the versatility in flight as that of the hummingbird or even many insects for that matter. Inspired by the hovering of birds and by the flight dynamics of birds of prey, that can swoop and almost poise mid-air, research on ornithopters is gathering pace. Ornithopters are flying machines that rely on flapping wing mechanism. A human-powered ornithopter has already been designed and has successfully achieved flight. In the future, mechanized rotary motion and reciprocatory motion in machines could be replaced by a more fluid and animalistic motion. And one man that has a huge role in that transition is the Dutch designer Thier Jensen. Jensen came into limelight through his kinetic sculptures which he has been making for decades. His remarkable specimens that beautifully combine art and engineering were featured in a car advert of a famous brand. The beasts of pure mechanical breed as can be seen in the video are Jensen's own creation. He wants herds of these mechanically self-regulating creatures to roam freely on the beaches of Netherlands and Belgium one day. Over time, the level of sophistication of his creatures has risen. 
In the first stage, he achieved very natural animal-like movements. This required mathematical modeling and simulation programs with several iterations. Jensen was finally able to produce a mechanism through linkages that mimicked the way a quadruped moved. He added additional limbs for greater stability and smoothness of travel. As a result, the first strand beast was born. His designs would later feature flapping wings, mimicking avian features. Using PVC bottles and tubes, he was also able to harness compressed air, which was used for performing intelligent functions. As indicated by the creator himself, the mechanism has many practical application. Theo explains that the tires are not very good on the sand mainly because every point on the tire has to be in contact with the sand at some point in time, resulting in far more friction. So one of the possible applications of his mechanism would be to create a walking bike. It was Theo Jensen himself who designed the Animarius rhinoceros specifically to transport load. Unlike most of his creatures that were made of flexible plastic tube, Animarius rhinoceros had a sturdy skeleton made of steel and had a polyester skin. Even though the mechanical creature weighs two tons but it can be easily tucked by a single person. Thus it can be used for transporting load with minimum energy in sandy train and doesn't need a road or even a track. Jensen's evolution of the tire has been inspired by nature itself, which provides some of the best solutions to many of the problems faced by the world today. Another groundbreaking application would be replacing wheelchairs. Modern wheelchairs, even though made out of lightweight materials, cannot be used in places like beach, snowy or muddy fields or deserts. They cannot go past obstacles or climb stairs. Chairs that will employ Theo Jensen mechanism on the other hand would be able to do all of that. The beauty of Theo Jensen's mechanism is the simplicity of its design. It can be made easily from a variety of materials at any scale. It is smooth in movement and energy efficient and has a low payload to machine load ratio. Added features like shock absorbers can make it even more robust and versatile. It does not require any hydraulics or sophisticated machinery to function. If anyone wants to create Theo Jensen's mechanism at home, then for convenience the picture on the screen shows the links that form one of the many legs that the mechanism can have. On the right hand side the numbers indicate the length of the bars. The free end of the A bar could be connected to a motor or could be placed at the center of a flywheel. Various other legs can be attached at face differences for a smoother movement. In the diagram, fixed joints that don't allow any rotation are the following. The joints that are pin joints that allow relative rotation between the two links are as follows. Another interesting land traversing mechanism that can replace the wheel is the clan mechanism which is based on crab like movement so please do explore it. One thing that can be concluded from the video is that mankind needs to constantly learn from mother nature not only for sustenance but also for sustainability. If you learned something from this video then please do like it your encouragement is helpful and much appreciated. Thank you for your attention.